back into our EBS volume interface under the EC2 console, we have our two gigabytes EBS volume. And what we can do is do actions and then we can create a snapshot from it. So I'm going to create a snapshot and I'll call it demo snapshots. And as we can see with AWS before for EBS volumes, you could tag them as well, but snapshots as well, everything can be tagged. And I'm not going to create tags every time, but it shows you the power that tag can be used everywhere in AWS. So I'm going to create a snapshot. And now the create snapshot request has succeeded. So the snapshots will happen behind the scenes. But because we have a very, very small EBS volume of two gigabytes, I expect the snapshots to be very quick. So to verify the snapshots, on the left-hand side, under volumes, we have the snapshots. So I click on snapshots. And here we can see that this demo snapshot has been completed. This was very quick and it is 100% available. Now the snapshot is available within your region. It is not linked to a specific AZ. So what I can do from the, this snapshot is I can do action and I can do multiple things from it. Number one is that I can copy it. And when I copy a snapshot, it will be copied into a new snapshot. And this snapshot can be in any region we want. So the idea is that we can copy the snapshot to another region and maybe put our data somewhere else for restoring our application or for disaster recovery. So I'm not going to do it, but it is possible for us to copy snapshots across regions. Next, the other thing I can do is to create a volume from it. So I'm going to click on action and I'm going to create a volume. And this volume will be exactly containing the content of our snapshot. So we can create a new volume of size two gigabytes. And for the availability zone, instead of EU West 1A, this one I can choose EU West 1B. We can also enable encryption for the volume, but we won't do it. And for the name tag, I'm going to say that it is the restored volume. And I'm going to create this volume. So now the create volume request has succeeded and it needs to be done in the background. But now if we go back into the volumes tab on the left hand side, we can see we have two volumes. There was the first one that was created. Okay. And then we snapshotted it and then we restored it into a new volume. And the name of it is restored volume. But now the interesting thing is that the availability zone of that snapshot is EU West 1B. So we have effectively moved that volume over to another availability zone. And now this volume can be attached to an EC2 instance in that availability zone. So that's it. Snapshots can be very powerful and will be a great friend for us. I will see you in the next lecture.